Well, good afternoon, everybody, uh, here at the Creation Museum. And I don't even know why I'm wearing a cardigan. Actually, in Australia, we call this a jumper. Uh, we call anything you put on to keep yourself warm like that sort of a jumper. If it's a pullover or a cardigan, it's a jumper, OK? So, but it's 59 degrees today. We're having a heat, heat wave. wave. It is, I mean, this is a real heat. I thought it was a heat wave when it reached 32 this week when it reached freezing. It was nice to get above uh, freezing. So, <laughs> so now it's a real heat wave. And then they're talking about a snow and ice storm, storm Friday this night. Weekend, yep. Friday night into Saturday morning. We'll see. I don't know. They're talking about the temperature's going to drop down again to 14, I think, next next week, even I getting down to 4 heard, again. Seven, yep. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Yep. Anyway, OK, I always talk about fun things and nonsense and gotcha. whatever and yeah. the weather and everything mm -hmm. as, as people get online here. We're going to talk about STEM today, STEM, mm -hmm. S-T-E-M, and I have with me uh, Dan Wooster, who's the director of Camp Infinity. I've known Dan for millions and millions and millions of years. Seems like it. Uh, he was a professor at uh, BJU uh, University, Bob Jones University. And had both your sons, Nathan, and had Jeremy. No, that's right. Yeah, in your classes, yeah. and uh, you taught in IT. Computer science, uh, yes. Computer science, yep. and you love technology. Yep. And you love robots. I do. And this is, I'm a robot today, okay? See? Uh, but anyway, I notice here you have a fly. Actually, here at the Creation Museum, we have uh, a table here and uh, a setup uh, actually telling people about Camp Infinity. And got your picture on there. Look at that. Oh, look, it has got my picture Dr. on there. Dr. Madian up there, MRI inventor. Yep, yep, inventor of the MRI. And here's a fly that says Robots and God. And then it says STEM, Science, Technology, Engineering, Math. And you know, one of the things that we really try to do here at the Creation Museum, associated with uh, the Creation Museum, the ARC, and Ministry of Answers and Genesis, we have all sorts of workshops that our staff do here. And you do something specialized. It's separate from Answers and Genesis, but we are a part of it. We endorse it yes. and help, help sponsor this. We, um, and it's called Camp Infinity. Yeah. Dan, can you explain it? Because this is a fantastic sure. opportunity well, yes. for your kids, for your students. And um, appreciate, yeah, I appreciate the opportunity, Ken. And uh, yeah, first of all, when I tell the story of Camp Infinity, the first thing I start with is the relationship, unique relationship that God's given me with this ministry uh, through knowing the Ham family, taught both of their boys back years ago, computer science. And I love the confrontational um, truth, if I could call it that, the taking biblical authority and confronting the culture where the culture is got things messed up. And so came to Ken several years ago. It was actually back when Bill Nye was attacking our ministry and, and you in Georgia. And I said, how about if we start a STEM camp? And as I recall, you said, what is STEM? I did. And I said, well, it's science, technology, engineering and math, but it's more than just those four separate areas. It's actually the bringing together of those four disciplines in a teamwork, problem-solving environment to solve really tough problems that face the culture. So, for example, here at the museum, uh, we offer science workshops. We love those science workshops. We want kids that are well-grounded in science, right, right. okay? But we also look for kids that love robotics and technology. And engineering. Um, engineering, building things, making things work, solving problems, and the few that love and enjoy mathematics. We need more of you, but uh, we, we bring all that together in a teamwork environment to solve problems that um, neither of those disciplines would be able to solve uh, apart. One of, the, one of the stories I like to tell to give people the idea, in my pocket here, I'm pulling out, no, it's not a pager. Kids, you wouldn't know what a pager is, but it is an insulin pump. I am a type 2 diabetic, which means my body doesn't process insulin properly. And you and know what? At Answer Genesis, we can tell you the reason for that. That is correct. It's because of the sin. The fall, that's yeah. sin. <laughs> exactly. and that's, so part of the message that we'd like to give it can. Okay, so, so this device involves science, the understanding of insulin, and its impact on cells and, and, and cell structure and things of that nature. It involves technology. There are a million lines of source code, computer code, inside of this pump that keep it going and keep me alive. Engineering, I'm glad there were some good engineers that knew how to put it together and make it the interface work well and fit in my pocket and so on and so forth. And then mathematics, oh yes, am I glad it does the calculations right and carb ratios and things of that nature. That's an example. And what we like to say in our camp, we teach what we call a theology of technology. That is, what does the Bible say about technology? Does the Bible talk about technology? Sure it does. So what does it say about technology, and why does technology exist? 
what are we supposed now, to do with it? Now, these workshops, you call them Camp Infinity. Yes. And uh, you run them, well, actually, you, you use a campsite in the area. We do. And then you also do programs here at the museum. We do. And at the we Arc. do. Now, somebody's asked uh, here, and feel free to, to ask us uh, questions you have. Actually, there's people from all over here, someone from San Diego, from Wonderful. Pennsylvania, from someone else from California, from Arizona, from New York City. But someone said... Um, what age groups are we talking about here? Okay, so have, as, you, as you start talking about this. We have day camps for third through sixth grade, and then we have our overnight camps where they come and they spend an entire week, and they're with the counselors 24-7, and that, by the way, is a huge impact. Uh, we hire counselors from around the country who love God, love a young earth creation position, love STEM, and love working with young people. And so that's for grades 7 through 12. So... Uh, the the day camps are again age age three through six. Uh, great, great. Excuse me, grades three through six. Grades three through six. So, what age would that be? That would be roughly three, about eight through six, twelve. Uh, but twelve, eight through twelve. Okay, yes. great. So, grades three through six, and then the week long programs is, is uh, grades going into seventh grade through twelfth grade. I know that uh, you know Bill Nye uh, talks about STEM and. He, he tries. He, yeah. he tries to talk about STEM. And they're, in the secular world, STEM camps are very, very popular. Yes, they are very popular. Uh, but what we want to do here is to say to people, hey, send your kids to STEM programs right. that are Christian and creationist. Well, and that's the difference here. Ken, what I like to tell parents is you can go to a multitude of STEM camps, and all STEM camps will have one thing in common. They'll all teach your young people what is possible and how to do it. But the question that they leave out is why. Why is it important? Why do we have cell phones? Why do we have insulin pumps? Why do we have an MRI scanner? Why do we need an MRI scanner? Because we take a biblical authority position, we're able to answer those questions and equip those kids, equip our campers, so when they go out into the world, they're able to give solid answers to why they believe what they believe. So this is uh, it's a unique opportunity for people. I mean, we do all sorts of workshops here at Anson Genesis, the Creation Museum. And we're going to be doing workshops down the Ark mm -hmm. as well when we get our new auditorium built yes. uh, this year, a new big multi-purpose room. Uh, but Dan, is, as I said, has been a friend for many, many years. And what he's doing is different to anything else we do. The STEM camps, science, technology, here. engineering, math. You use robotics. Yes. You, you do all yes. sorts of... You teach apologetics. Um, but it's a different sort of approach, isn't it? It, it is. It is. The way I, I okay, uh, we all have a favorite sport. Let's say your favorite sport is football. In the game of football, um, there's a need to know how to pass the ball, how to catch the ball, how to run, how to block, how to tackle, okay? Here at this ministry, we are offering workshops that teach kids zoology and biology and some of the specific sciences. Okay, what we do at Camp Infinity is we put that all together, if you will, into a teamwork environment. And we teach them not, not so much the details of each of those sciences, but how do you put that together? How do you play football? How do you solve problems in a teamwork environment that involves scientists and technologists and engineers and mathematicians? The biggest problem we run into, this is true in industry as well as in our camp, is kids, young people, learning how to get along, learning how to appreciate each other's God-given abilities, finding right. out what their God-given abilities are, and learning how to solve. I mean, our, our culture, we face some really, really tough problems. We face problems of food production. We face problems of transportation, population uh, issues, and things of that nature. And we like to help solve those problems, teach those kids how to solve problems, but from a biblical perspective. Now, somebody here is asking, uh, can parents come with their kids? Well, that's a, we get asked that a lot. We actually have a family camp. Uh, it's the week of July 4th uh, this week. It's a three-day camp, and, and families come, and we provide the lodging and the food and the whole thing. While their kids are doing the STEM activities, we're doing some different apologetics teaching and a theology of technology class for the parents. Uh, and then in the evenings, the, they all get together and they build robots together. That's an amazing thing, seeing parents and kids so, really? Yeah. So someone said, I would like a STEM camp for grandparents. We had gran that's we've it. had grand grandparents came last year, actually. That, and that's to that camp. One of the cool things about grandparents, many times they're in a better financial position to help cover the costs for their kids. Oh, okay. In so fact, grandparents... In fact, let me, let me, since you brought that up, we had uh, this is our latest newsletter, December newsletter, and it says, give the gift of a CI experience. I learned this from my kids. My kids came to me this last year and said, Dad... We appreciate all the gifts. You're, I have five grandkids, and uh, not quite at your level, but catching up. 
slowly. We have 16. 16. Yeah, well, we got a ways to go. At any rate, uh, and they said, we don't want to get more stuff. We would like experiences. And that's what we offer at Cam Infinity. We offer the opportunity for grandparents to pay for their grandkids to get the experience of a STEM camp from a biblical worldview. Well, I know some of our younger grandkids, they prefer the box the toy comes in rather than the, the, toy. the toy. Yeah, so, <laughs> that's true. So we anyway, um, that's that. a great idea. Now, somebody said here, uh, how much does it cost for the camp? So th- there's the day programs and then there's right. the week programs, the, right? The day programs run. There's a, the, 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 the younger day camp, the junior day camp is uh, all the price are on the website, but I'll, I'll tell you, it's, it's, I think it's around three... I think it's about three hundred dollars for the junior day camp, three forty nine for the teen day camp, and then the overnight camp is thirteen ninety nine. Now, a lot of times people kind of cringe at that. If they compare us to the typical Bible camp or church camp, there's no comparison. When in you terms say of the day cost. camp, how many days is that? It's a three day camp. That's a three day camp. That's important to say camp, that. And it's from eight thirty in the morning till four thirty in the afternoon. But let me also say we offer a lot of scholarship opportunities. There's a lot of ways to reduce. Okay. A typical so, family would reduce that by three and four hundred dollars by applying for scholarship, financial aid. We have multiple sibling discounts because you have uh, some donors. We that give discounts to Creation Museum members, um, Ark members. So, so, yeah. so the day camps that they just come in each day. That is correct, right? That is correct. But then Parents there's drop the, them off and then the overnight up. camp is how they long? drop them off on Monday morning and they pick them up on Saturday. For the afternoon, for the week long one, for the entire week. Yes. Yeah, that's the overnight one. Yes, but for the day ones, they drop them off here in they the morning. They drop them off, pick them up in the pick afternoon. Pick them up in the afternoon. Do for that three for days. Three days. Yes, sir. And they are they held at the Creation Museum? Yes. So the day yes. camps are held here. Held here, yes. And do they visit the Ark too? Uh, that we don't. The day camps we don't provide transportation. So at this point, we haven't worked in the Ark yet, but we're okay. okay. We're considering that. So for the overnight one, though, you do visit the Ark. Oh yes. And the Creation Museum. Yes. And one thing I'd like to put add, particularly for the overnight, we also take them to a local secular museum so they can see the story of evolution told, and we teach them why those two conflict and how to handle those conflicts and how to answer people that believe in evolution. Well, someone asked, um, where are these camps being offered? And they said, the family camp sounds awesome. So where do you have that? uh, That's here in the uh, Cincinnati area, greater Cincinnati area. All of our summer camps happen here. At an off-site That's correct. A place called Potter's Ranch. Okay. Uh, it's in, in northern Kentucky. So for for the week-long one, if parents, grandparents want to bring their kids, they stay at Potter's Ranch. Um, there, yes. There's accommodation there? Yes. Camping accommodation? Uh, f- well, when we have the family camp, yes. Yes. Yeah. That's what I'm talking yes, about. Yes, that is mm-hmm. correct. That is correct. If they bring their kids to the so, overnight camp, of course, they've got to find hotel reservations and things of that nature. To the overnight. If, they're gonna, if, if the parents are going to stay in the area. Oh, Sometimes yeah. they'll drop them off. Sometimes they fly them in. We... We provide airport yeah, shuttle service. And that's service. For, the, for the day camp? For the or? overnight camp. Okay. For the overnight camp. Now you got me confused. I'm sorry. <laughs> day camps, I would assume the parents would be in the area somewhere. Right. Because they have to bring them every day. Overnight camps, they don't have to come. So mm-hmm. that's for the week, though. They can that's drop them off. But they can yes. come with them. That's the thing people are asking. If they come to the family camp, yes. Okay. So when is the family camp? The family camp is, the, uh, is over the July 4th week. So you have a family camp, and you have... What you call junior day camps, junior day camps, teen day camps, teen day camps, and then teen overnight camps, and then teen overnight camps. Yes. And how long are the overnight camps for? Six days. Six days. Yep. Okay, that's what I yep. wanted to make sure. We Thank you for clarifying that. Because I was getting confused. If you start, were getting confused, you started to sound like an evolutionist. You know, yeah. it was chance random processes all over the place. I wasn't really sure. Thanks for straightening that out. <laughs> So, Can well, I add to well, that? Well, you're, you're those are summer camps. Right. During the school year. We offer camps all over the country. This is our Robots and God workshop, and this year we'll be in Jacksonville, Florida, Cleveland, Ohio, uh, Rogers, Arkansas. We'll be in Atlanta, Georgia, Nashville, Tennessee, um, and, and other cities as well. You can check out our website for that. And these are one-day workshops where we come in and we don't we, we teach them how to build robots, how to program robots, but we do so from a biblical worldview perspective, and we talk about some really cool... It's an incredible opportunity. It's very unique. I mean, we have some specialists here at the Creation Museum and the ARC who run all sorts of programs dealing with animals and science programs, forensic programs. Mm -hmm. STEM is a whole different uh, ballgame altogether, Mm -hmm. and you're the specialist in that, and you um, actually train all the counselors that are there, and you have special people come in. Uh, so probably the best thing for people to do is to go to your website, The website right? would be a good place to start, campinfinity.com, and uh, check out our programs. Click on the camps link, and that will show you the various categories of camps, and then you can select the weeks 
and uh, the camp that would best fit uh, fit your child. So campinfinity.com, and we'll put that link at the top Great. of the comments. So we'll pin it there so you can go there and find out about the STEM camps. You know, I must admit, that when you came to me one, one time and talked yep. to me about, I want to I run some STEM camps, and I, I said to you, what, what STEM? STEM? What on earth is STEM? Yeah. And uh, then since you know that, I heard Bill Nye talking about STEM. I remember that. And the secular, well, but they want to train them in a secular philosophy. That's the difference. Everything that That's we right. do, all we endorse, and we sort of, because you're a specialist in this area, we help endorse these and promote, because we're not doing STEM camps, so you're doing them, and you do them here. So that's what we love, is to be able to work with different groups like that. And uh, because it's from a creationist perspective, mm -hmm. Christian worldview perspective, what a wonderful opportunity for kids. So instead of sending them to the secular camps, I tell you, secular education, secular programs like that are leading kids so much astray. And uh, Ken, I have parents come to me all the time and say my kid really loves robots, really loves technology, really loves science, but I'm afraid to send them to a STEM camp because most of them are evolutionary based, right. yeah. and and they just don't their faith isn't quite that strong enough yet. So they're very thankful for the kind Somebody of. Somebody said, camp. "What grade levels for the one day camp during the school year?" Uh, the third through sixth and a seven through twelfth. Third through sixth, seven through twelfth. That's all on the website. Yes. So campinfinity.com. Yes. Camp Infinity. See it there on the flyer, yep. uh, on the. Uh, board there behind you, Camp Infinity, where science and technology meet truth. And experience exciting science, grow your faith, make lasting memories, campinfinity.com. Uh, well, Dan, uh, great to have you with us today. Thank you. And uh, we're looking it's forward for an exciting here. year once winter gets over here. Well, What's yeah, that's, yeah, we're... It's, it's warm today, uh, but it's going to be winter again on Friday. I'm looking That's forward to going back to South Carolina uh, on so, Friday before the snow comes. So, so anyway, yes. um, I encourage you to look into the Camp Infinity STEM programs. And have a good afternoon. Thank you.